Hey guys and welcome back to my world. I know this has been long waited, overdue, sorry. Um, I said that I was going to do this over the weekend and I've just been really really busy so it's ended up being a week overdue. So here is finally my second charity shop haul. I know you guys, well you didn't like my first charity shop haul but a lot of you viewed it so I thought I'd uh, try it again. Um, this time I went to Otley. Um, it was about an hour and a half drive away from where I am now. Um, the weather was horrible. I was going to record like all the little shops and the streets and everything because it was a really cute little village. But the weather was horrible. It rained all day. And then as soon as we got into the charity shops they were absolutely packed. There was like hardly any room to move around. So... But luckily I did buy a few things so I'm going to show you what I got and hopefully I'll be able to tell you how much I paid but I have worn a few of the things so I'm not quite sure how much I paid so you might hear a lot of rustling as I'm trying to find the receipt in the bottom of the bag. Okay so first up I went to, more rustling, uh, Scope and I bought this, I'm probably not going to be able to tell, it's a coat, it's like a poncho thing it has little buttoned sleeves, you can't see the button, where's the button, uh, there you go, and that's like the sleeve and a cute little hug and it says it's a small, um, I think it's originally from Primark which is really ridiculous because I actually paid £4.50 for it, um, but I have worn it and it keeps me dry so I'm not complaining. The second thing that I got from Scope is this very nice top. One minute, it is in third out. Cashier wasn't very nice at folding things. And you will soon realise I buy lots of oversized clothes. I mean, way, way oversized, not just buy you like huge. Um, and this is one of them. It's a top, it's got like a tribally type thing. I think it's supposed to be like a lion because it's got like a little. Why did I think it was a lion? Oh, it has a little nose. Little nose. I think it's a lion. Um, and I paid £3.50 for this. It is originally from paper. I think that's Matalan. And it's a size 20. I am not a size 20. But it's very nice and long. Good for summer. So that's all I got in scope. Moving right on, um, I got these. I don't know where I bought these from. One minute, looking for a receipt. Why is that in here? I didn't go to. Oh no, I did. Uh, YMCA. I paid two pound ninety nine for this gorgeous pair of trousers with flowers on them. I think they're gorgeous. They've got like a elasticated bit at the back. They are originally from Wallace and I just think they are gorgeous. I wear them to work so I have already worn these. And yes, I paid 2 99 which I thought was like a great deal. Uh, super happy with them. Next thing I bought was from RSPCA. I actually bought the, I paid £10 for the plastic bag as well. Um, the other ones I got free, but I only kind of like just packed lots of clothes into one bag. I kept refusing bags. Um, anyway, RSPCA, and again, oversized top. It has these little Peter Pan collar, um, short sleeved, but I think it's really pretty. It's G21, I think that's Asda George. Um, I'm trying to find a size because I know this thing is way oversized again size 20 but if you like put a belt on it then I guess that makes it like look better and fitter but you still get the puffiness I like the puffy um, and I paid £3.49 bit of an odd price but I think it was definitely worth it again I have worn this to work it's where I tend to wear most of my clothes because I'm there a lot of the time um, which is also the reason why I haven't been here. Uh, and the last thing that I got from RSPCA is this adorable little ice cream cone. Obviously someone didn't bring this in. They had like a 
basket of them at the till. And it's a bag on the inside. I haven't opened it yet and it's probably a bad idea to open it because I will probably never get the bag back in. But I'm going to show you guys anyway because I think it's super cute. No, it's being bad. What's it doing? Oh my god. I just don't know. Um, it's all tangled up. But. Ha! There. It's a little polka dotted like, shopping bag, which is really sad. But I thought it was, like, super cute. And, like, if you go shopping and then you have a small bag but you don't think you're going to buy that much, you can just get this big bag out of the little ice cream that sounds completely normal I paid a pound for it so I didn't think that was too bad and um, okay my oh no um, I've got a bag of clothes but I bought I put the clothes some of the clothes were from a different charity shop so I just need to like try and find the tag um, I think that's it Okay, right. Cancer Research UK, that, yep, yeah, Cancer Research UK. Just didn't come out right in my mouth. I got these leggings, which are kind of like a denim, but they're not. They've got, you can't really see it over the camera, it's kind of a greeny blue tint. And then it's got this really nice, like, brown sewn in detailing around the groin. Doesn't have any pockets on the bottom though. Um, and yeah, not that worn. Um, I only paid £2.80 for them. And I love leggings, wear them all the time. And they are from Being Casual. I have no idea who that is, but I appreciate that they made these very nice leggings. And that someone brought them into a charity shop and I could buy them. Um, right, finally, the last charity shop that I went to was... British Heart Foundation and I bought this gorgeous, I, I know I bought an, a waistcoat in my last one but I just, I couldn't help myself. So here it goes, another waistcoat but this one's like a, a white grey denim style. It has these cute little flaps but no pockets and a cinchy waist thing. Um, I must admit I'm not too keen on buttons. I might change them. They're just, I don't know, I think they're just a little bit too chunky. Um, I got this from, yep, yeah, I just told you where I got it from. Um, originally it's from Dorothy Perkins and if you bear with me I paid $2.99. Um, I'm super happy. It looks really good on. Unlike the other one that I bought it is actually a lot bigger so I can button it up all the way. Um, so yeah, awesome. And finally, onto the last thing, which turns out to be the first thing that I actually picked up in the entire day um, from British Heart Foundation is this cardigan, and I love it. It's like black with ready pinkish roses and white. I don't know if you can see that properly. There you go. Um, where are the buttons? Are they cute? Just shiny black buttons. Um, I love cardigans. Cardigans and leggings. I have like drawers full of them and I only tend to wear like two but I love to buy them and I only paid £3.25 for it so definitely worth it. Um, it doesn't have any pockets on it but love it. Long sleeved. Very comfortable. A little bit oversized of course. How could I resist not doing that? Um, so yeah, I don't think I did too bad. I spent a little bit more than I did around my first charity haul, but then again, I bought quite a bit more. Um, I spent under £30, over 20 not quite sure how much exactly. Um, and I have decided in my next video, I am going to do a what is in my bag tag. Um, I tend to swap bags a lot, so I'm just going to go through what I brought with me on my charity shop haul um, because of my diabetes, I went out for a meal afterwards. I'll be able to show you guys all of my equipment and stuff that I have to bring with me. Um, and then after that video, 
I will think about uploading a just a diabetes related video and just go through how I got it, how I've dealt with it, not very well to be truthfully honest with you, um, and just a little bit more information if you're a little bit clueless. Um, so yeah, just click like, uh, write a comment if you feel like it, you don't have to, I'm not forcing you to, um, and click subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!